So we have two species of squirrels on campus. Um, we have an eastern fox squirrel and an eastern gray squirrel. Um, the black squirrels that you see on campus, I promise they're not a different species, they're just a color morph of the eastern gray squirrel. So I got into researching squirrels through a campus organization called SU Gone Wild, and what we do is try to get students to do research on their campus that they live on. And I think one of the things that people don't realize is that the squirrels actually breed here on campus. So. Um, We've been fortunate enough to watch um, young squirrels come down from the trees for the first time. Um, you're able to see kind of like the changeover of generations, which squirrels are really unhappy to be around other squirrels. Some squirrels are really excited to be next to each other and they groom each other and they really like to snuggle and some of them hate any of them around them. So, yes, sometimes we do recognize individuals. They, a lot of squirrels look pretty similar, so they have to be a pretty specific individual, but there's there's like a couple of them that'll have like a little bit of white on their tail or one of them, there's a female over on the um, other side near the theater who only has half of a tail and so she's very recognizable. People should definitely not feed the squirrels. Um, they are still, they're very cute, I understand. Every time that we feed them, we create um, a behavioral feedback in their minds that tells them that people are okay to approach. So a college campus is a really interesting place to do an ecological study, and the reason that we chose a college campus out of any of the places that we could have done in California, A, is because it was our college campus and we wanted to deal with it, um, but also because a college campus models in urban parks. It's not like you know you're tramping through people's backyards and trying to find the squirrels it's that um, you're able to study them in this environment that models the environments that they live in kind of across the world. 